All right, so in this video, i am got my blood work, and we're going to go over the blood work real quick. Let me go over a couple of symptoms. So I uh, did get a little bit of constipated this week. Uh, it wasn't too bad, but I did get a little bit. Uh, I'm a little bloated. My ring, let's see if you can see it. Uh, can't see too much, but my ring has got a little tight. Uh, I'm not doing nothing different. I Again, though, I, I feel a little extra bloated. Just two pounds down, not a big deal. So I'll go ahead and put those numbers here from last week to this week. And then I'm going to get into my blood work real quick. I'm going to go through why uh, I'm a little lazy, I guess, for working out, why I stay so tired. That's all fixing to be my blood work. So uh, let's go ahead and get into it. So my total cholesterol uh, went from 210 uh, from the last time that he did it to 208. I, I've fluctuated uh, throughout the years. I, I do have it on uh, expanded all the way from 2016 to now. Uh, the HDLs went up, which is really weird, really weird. Well, excuse me, HDL is supposed to go up. This is, I believe, your good cholesterol. We're supposed to be in the green on this one, uh, high in the green on this one, and then, of course, this one's supposed to be low. So as far as cholesterol, it's like I, I didn't do that well on it. Uh, the triglycerides now, but I'm on phenofibrate as well, but my triglycerides, of course, I've been plagued with some high triglycerides. And I mean, I was already all the way up to 427 at one point. Um, and this year, I was at 413. So I have dropped dramatically since taking... So the phenofibrate is when... Here's when I started taking the phenofibrate, when we were 413. Because they wouldn't approve the Manjaro just yet. And it dropped me down from 4, 8, uh, 413 to 380. And now we doubled my phenofibrate, which now dropped me to 175. So I'm almost in the green on triglycerides. I'm really, really excited about that. Uh, your LDL, or my LDL, sorry, uh, 143, it went up. I, I'm not understanding. So when I see him in, in nine more days, we'll, we'll go over this. Uh, the ratio here, the HDLC versus the CHLL. Again, it went down just a little, I mean, just a couple of points. That's it. Uh, nothing dramatic on here, though. Nothing way dramatic. All right, so I have thyroid issues, so I take thyroid medication. So here's my ACTH plasma. This is uh, the, your thyroid toxic pituitary that's in the brain. And I'm kind of really excited about this because since they've been doing this test in 2019, I've set up high, which really and truly resembles uh, Cushing's disease or a tumor uh, around your pituitary. So losing some of the weight and getting some of it off, which is what my doctor thought was going to happen, it went down to 52. This is the lowest that it's been at all since 2019, So, which is really good. All right, so I'm really, really not that much of a man over here. <laughs> Uh, my testosterone, which I'm going to get with them. I'm going to most likely have to be taking some, some type of testosterone, which is going to be scary at my age and hearts running in my family. But I need to boost my testosterone. So my testosterone is really, really low. That could be why I'm feeling very, very tired, very, really sluggish uh, and, and feeling my age. So other than that, everything else was uh, glucose. I'm going to talk to them about glucose was still 94. It was still in the higher end, and with me not, again, I still had to wait on me, and he might say that we had to wait until another three months to see where it lies for a full six months. Um, my thyroid was in check. Everything was in check for my thyroid. All right, so my morning, I think that's it right here. My morning cortisol, this one I need to talk to him about. This is your adrenaline when you get anxiety and stuff like that. That, that all plays a role with your adrenal glands. Uh, so I since 2015, I am the highest that I have been. So I need to know why it is. And I do wake up sometimes and I'm anxious or um, little bitty things startle me easy. And if you get if you're one of the ones that get startled really, really easy, you might need to go get some of your, your kidney stuff checked out. And then um, this one down here, the PSA, that's just for colon cancer. So this one here I want to talk to him about and then ask him why some of my blood works have went up. And, of course, testosterone went down. So 
I mean, I was hitting good numbers at one point. I think this was like almost 800 right here, I think. Um, oh, well, I can't get to it, but I think it was at like 800 at one time. I think 798. But the main ones is the cholesterol right here. Uh, my I got two that's not back yet. My reverse T3, my A1C is not back yet. So that kind of stinks because I did this over a week ago. But now there's the blood work. So I thought I'd see a little bit more on the cholesterol. But remember, cholesterol is your blood serum for the last, you know, three to five months. Uh, the blood serum stays in your blood, the cholesterol. So uh, as I'm losing weight, you know, it all depends on how you lose the weight and when that's going to show up. So by the next one, the next blood work that I do, it's it should be pretty... Uh, show a pretty good difference on the next blood work. Uh, other than that, I'm loving that the triglycerides are down. I got to really talk about my testosterone. So there's a few things there, right? So uh, my morning uh, AM uh, cortisol. I mean, I'm at that very high mark, and I, that might be why I wake up a little anxious or, you know, I, I have a little extra anxiety lately. So I don't know what's causing that. I don't know if it's from the Manjaro or what. But obviously, even before I did the Manjaro, you see my numbers. That's why I did the overtime because I've only been on this for, you know, going on three months. Next week will be a full three months uh, that I've been on the Manjaro. So, but uh, we'll see how it goes. I'll give another update next week. And, and you know, I'm going to continue to do these weekly updates. So if you're not subscribed, subscribe. If you like, you know, uh, reviews, go ahead and review. I got some reviews coming in. I got another company reached out to me to review a uh, uh, these backpacks. Uh, Toratol, I believe is how you say their name. Um, so stay on the lookout for that. These are some really nice backpacks. So if you like reviews, get on them. Uh, I've reached out with Fifine. I'm hoping that they're going to send me a speaker set where we'll see what happens. Again, if you're not subscribed, subscribe. If you like honest reviews, uh, I'm going to be doing another video about, you know, uh, PC parts. I mean, a lot of people that come to my channel, it's about PC parts. I just throw these in there just to give me a little bit of vlogging going on in here. But it also gives me uh, accountability as well. We all got to be held accountable for what we do. And this is how I hold myself accountable is doing these videos so if you like these type of videos go ahead and uh, smash that like button on this video go ahead and smash that subscribe button uh there i think there if you're on your phone there's one like down here in one of these corners right here just go ahead and tap on it subscribe to the channel uh it, much appreciated ain't gonna hurt you nothing ain't gonna cost you nothing just go ahead and subscribe to it uh if you like tech reviews go ahead and check out the videos right here uh fifi makes some heck of products but i have other products in here and other tech Go ahead and watch right here and check out some of these reviews of these products. So I'm Thomas with Tomology. I'll catch y'all next week on the next weekly Manjaro. Or uh, if you're subscribed and you hit that bell icon, I'll catch you in the next review video.